Hello everyone, this is our 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara with 72,089 miles. It has been, the, the exterior has been painted or coated in white with a similar texture to Rhino Line. I don't know if it's actual Rhino Line that was put on here, but it's a very um, tough kind of material on the outside. Steel bumpers front and rear, Smitty built winch. We've got exterior LED lighting here, pods down there, a pillar pods up there and a light bar up there that are all wired to uh, an accessory switch panel on the interior. Do you have light guards on the front and the back? Aftermarket HIDs on the front. Clear markers as well. It is lifted on 20 inch wheels, 35 inch tires. Fuel gripper MT tires and fuel off-road wheels. Starwood Customs. Front driver's side fender area looks good. And I did forget, I apologize. The front end is in great shape as well. Uh, none of the finish is compromised. All of the black powder coating looks good, except for right here, a little bit of wear. Um, but it just, it blends with the material really well. So it's hard to tell. Um, a little bit of discoloration on the guards on the front of the lights, but that's a pretty minor defect. The actual finish over the vehicle is intact and consistent none of it's chipping or flaking or anything like that front driver's side fender area looks great front driver's side wheel looks good finish is in great shape on the wheel driver mirror no issues front driver door oh we've got a few discolored spots like that it's hard to say if it's dirty or if it's just kind of stained because it's such a rough material that the vehicle has been coated in uh, I imagine if it contacts anything, the color or whatever it might be, the dirt kind of wears into it. It's not like paint where you can just wipe it off. I mean, this is, it's such a tough, scratchy material. So there's a few small discolored spots, but not, it's not anything super noticeable. It doesn't stand out. So the rear driver door looks good. Driver rear quarter looks great. Rear driver side wheel. It's in excellent condition. Moving around to the back. Steel rear bumper with LEDs, D-rings, light guards, matching spare. Pitch receiver, all that good stuff. Excellent shape, no flaws in the back. Spare looks good. Passenger side, rear quarter. Good shape, a few marks there. Rear passenger wheel looks good. Rear passenger door. Front passenger door. This have power retractable running boards as well. Oops, I locked it. So those work. Front passenger fender area looks great. No issues there. And these are really securely mounted as well. Have that entire metal bracket holding all of that together and the front passenger wheel looks really good as well walking around the vehicle from a one foot distance here at exotic motorsports we like to do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out-of-state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from us sight unseen if they choose to do so walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of the overall condition of the vehicle and helps to separate 
the larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones, helping to give you a better overall understanding of the true condition of the vehicle. Really tastefully modded Wrangler, very capable as well. Does have the Pentastar V6, five speed auto. Lots of aftermarket stuff on this Jeep. Again, the power running board, super nice to have, especially with the lift and tires. We do have kind of a brown beige interior with seats, the center console, etc. dash. Uh, door panels look good. They do have a little bit of wear. They're not completely perfect. But overall, I do think they look really nice. It does have Alpine audio. We've got the heated manual leather seats. It is turnkey. Starts right up, no issues. No lights on the dash. The AC blows ice cold. Hill descent control, we've got a 110 volt inverter, Bluetooth and uh, USB radio. Shifter there, clean cup holders, e-brake. Uh, no wear on any of the buttons or switches. Steering wheel looks like brand new. No wear on that. Rear view mirror, auto dimming looks good. There's the switchboard for all of the accessories, all of the aftermarket lighting. Passenger seat looks great. It's got grab handles, makes it really easy to get in the vehicle. Dash is in great shape, no weathering, no fading. Matching exterior color is around the vent bezels, one touch windows. Power locks and power adjustable mirrors. Back seat test here. I think all the Wranglers are the same, but I'll go ahead and do it anyways, just in case this is your first video. Grab handles in the rear. I'm 6'1", 200 pounds, so this should be a good indicator of how much interior space you have in the back. Uh, it's a little bit snug back here, but not terrible. My seat are t or my, my knees are touching the seat, but I'm not like pressed up against it. My head's not contacting the front. I think I'm a little bit close to the seat than I'd like to be, but there is some wiggle room up front. I do have the driver's seat adjusted to where I would prefer it, but there is some room up there. So if you did have, you know, four large adult passengers, you could get around that. Rear cup holder there, door panels in the back and everything are in good shape as well. Okay, that's closed. Uh, Jeeps don't have hood release. Latches on the interior, they just have these exterior latches, so you just fold those off. Lift the hood, move the latch, and then the tricky part is getting the hood all the way back so you can actually put the latch in it. There we go, or the prop rather. Uh, so there's the Pentastar V6 paired with the 5 speed auto. All the lights and electricals routed very cleanly don't have straight wires running all over the place. Everything is bundled and harnessed very nice. Definitely a super clean install. Runs and drives great. Idles really smooth. The AC is like aggressively cold, like very, very cold. So if you want to go overlanding in some desert area, you are good to go. And then just put the latches back on, super easy. Overall, very nicely modded Jeep. Lots of features, lots of options. It drives great. You do feel a little bit uh, the tread pattern of the tires and daily driving on uh, just regular paved roads, but it's really not bad. I've definitely felt a lot worse. Um, overall, this could be a great family vehicle. Lots of fun to take lots of adventures in. That's our 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this vehicle on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.